Hi morning folks, it's uh, Dave Price here. I am going to make a little recording for you today about a project I'm working on at the moment which is I'm basically converting my audio, sorry I'm converting my ebook that I published a few years ago called How to Annoy a Taxi Driver. I'm converting that into an audio book. Now I've already recorded myself speaking and uh, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm now converting those raw speech files into uh, tracks for the audiobook and I'm going to show you what I do to convert my recordings into the tracks which you will hear for each chapter in the book so um, anyway this is track 10 which I've, uh, I've already loaded up for you so you can actually have a quick listen to the very start of it, I'll just rewind the track there and it sounds a little bit like this the environment outside the taxi and within now that's back to me again <clears throat> what this is going to be is um, I'm going to take all in in these little gaps you can see here these are the gaps between me speaking these bumpy bits here is when I talk so watch this see the environment see now what I've realized is that I'm a <clears throat> I've got a bit of a noisy mouth I'll show you what I mean by that Watch this. Just after I say the environment. The environment. Did you hear that noise? That bit there is. I'm going to play it <laughs> on loop and I hope it doesn't sound too rude. But this is the sound of my mouth. That's my. T oh. That's my tongue moving. <laughs> As as I close my mouth at the end of a sentence, I close my mouth. Then I open my mouth and my tongue peels away from the roof of my mouth, making this noise. Now you're never gonna quite you're never gonna hear that because I'm gonna get rid of it. So I've highlighted it and I'm gonna do control L and it turns it into silence. So now if I just loop that little bit of sound again. No more spitty mouth. No more spitty mouth noises. <laughs> spitty mouth noises. Also, what I'm doing is these bits here. Now they do look silent, but they're not. They're actually not because in the background of these areas, you 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 you'll be able to hear stuff like um, the fan on the laptop. There's a bit of a hiss from the microphone itself. Little things. Um, at the time of recording this. My daughter's in the next room watching something on the television. And if I was recording my audio now, you'd probably be picking that up as well. So I'm going to avoid that. So anyway, I'm going to get rid of all these little gaps here. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to destroy the gaps. I'm going to highlight this section, which is a typical area of silence. And I'm going to apply an effect called noise removal. But firstly, it needs to know what noise sounds like. So I'm going to go click on noise removal here. Get noise profile. And that will analyze this section here. Okay, and work out what's in it. And it will go through the whole track. And anything that sounds like this will be removed. But firstly, I've got to unselect this. So now I'm going to say, right, everything here, I want to remove that bit that I've just got the noise profile for. So I'm going to go effect, noise removal. I've already done got noise, get noise profile because I've told it. And now I'm going to go to, now watch, I'm going to show you over here. Watch this line. It may go a little thinner. I might have already done this. So if it doesn't do anything, it means I've already done it. Watch this bit here. Yeah, that's definitely silent there. That's possibly silent but if it goes flat like this bit it's definitely worked here we go here we go here we go here we go going to the end of the file watch that bit it uh, looks the same in fact those little bumps have appeared which I don't recognize from before let me just have a quick listen the environment outside the taxi and within oh there's another spitty mouth noise there hang on so I'm getting a bit obsessed with this, it's annoying me. Yeah. And within. Oh, also my, my noises are 
in my personal noises, as it were, include the sound of me breathing. I'll show I'll show you what a breathing sounds like. Once again, don't get too excited if I loop this. Yeah. I'm a, getting a bit of me old uh, Darth Vader on going on there. I'll get rid of that. So I have to listen to myself for the next... Call me weird. Call me weird. Go on. Yes, I know. Call me weird, but farting in my taxi. Think. Oh, there's another spitty noise there. Sorry, I'm interrupting you listening to uh, the audiobook. Audio. You'll have to. Uh, you'll have to buy it when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Spitty mouth noise. Okay. Right. I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> and I'm going to pause you just for a moment. And I'm going to go through the rest of the file. I'm going to go through it. And I'm, there's only about two minutes on this particular chapter. So it shouldn't take me too long. I'm going to get rid of all the spitty mouth noises and the sounds of me breathing. So I'll have a, a silent mouth and I won't breathe. So basically I'll be dead. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be back for you to uh, to pick up this. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> I've been through my file. I've got rid of all my uh, spitty mouth noises and breathing. And uh, also I noticed when I was recording this particular track, in fact all most of the tracks actually, um, there's a few places where I fluff the lines. And rather than start again, I just keep rolling and repeat myself. So there's some bits here where I found I've repeated myself. So I found the good take and highlighted, say like the bad bit. And uh, I just hit the delete key and this would disappear and this area would close up to take its place so I was just basically snipping bits of rub bit of bits of rubbish out of my audio so now I've got a nice clean recording or the snow covered plains of Alaska I should have done that <laughs> in my George F F in my um, Morgan Freeman book my, my Mo oh, I should have done that in my, Mo my Morgan Freeman voice for clarity anyway um, no, I should have done that in my Morgan Freeman voice because I'm saying something like or the snow-covered plains of Alaska or the snow-covered plains of Alaska you see what I mean? it would have been better as George George Foreman? Morgan Freeman yeah, can I say that again? the Morgan Freeman voice to say or the snow-covered plains of Alaska or the snow-covered plains of Alaska. No, that doesn't sound right at all. Anyway, yeah, that's why I didn't do it. Right. So anyway, so I've got rid of my spitty, spitty mouth noises and my breathing, and now all I'm left with is me not doing Morgan Freeman impressions, which I wish I had. I would have uh, done it better. And uh, so yeah, so now we've got the audio, and I need to make sure that the levels are all right. So the first thing I do to this is I apply this little effect called leveler and it will compress my vocals slightly so I'm a bit you can see I've gone a bit louder there the peaks are a bit better than before the environment so I'm already louder and now I'm going to do finally a last effect which is normalize which is to make sure that I'm using the full area of the audio spectrum in terms of how loud it gets and how quiet it gets so it's gone slightly louder again. The environment. Outside the taxi and within. So there you go. So that's um <clears throat> that's my audio bits. Now I need to add some background music to it. Okay, so the, instead of the gaps there, we've always got a little bit of music going on in the background. Now there's no speech there's no speech on this particular track, whereas as in I'm um, uh, reenacting conversations. So what I did on those occasions would I would take a conversation between two people and I would m I would copy my track with me speaking both parts and split them into um, three tracks. So I would have the the, the center vocal for my uh, commentary. The 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 left this first track would become the left track for the left speaker and the other track would become the right track for the right speaker and I would go through the track editing the conversation I'm having with myself so that um, one voice would end up in the left speaker one voice would end up in the right speaker um, and where appropriate I would also 
close up some of the gaps in the audio so there would be no time for for me to breathe between doing the different voices so it gives you the illusion that there's two people speaking anyway um if you know if you ever like listen to the audio book at some stage you, you'll hear an example of that in the conversation about the uh the passenger that I had in the taxi that was uh questioning why the fare was how much it was etc so anyway so I'm, I'm here talking about how I'm how I'm editing this audio so making it into a, an audio book not the actual audio book itself so I'll stop going on about that now <clears throat> so we've got here it's currently a stereo track I don't need it to be stereo because there's only one voice being recorded so I'm going to take this track split the stereo track to two tracks and get rid of one so now we've got a mono track which is obviously the environment just in one speaker that's unusual I wasn't expecting that at all oh hang on a minute what, what? that shouldn't be in that channel mono there we go yeah there we go the environment in both speakers please. the environment yeah there it is so now I'm going to import an audio track and this audio track is a piece of background music made by a guy whose name is Jason something Jason can't remember but his his website is audionautics.com and he has got a, an amazing website that's full of audio background music tracks um yeah so that's what that's what that's for and this particular track I've used I'm, I'm alternating between cool ride and inner journey for each alternate track so it, you can definitely get a feel that you're listening to um, each chapter that comes along will have a different music track even if it's alternating between the two it's a nice way to uh, differentiate the two chapters and when music fades out at the end and fades in with a new piece of music you know that you're on the next chapter that's why I'm using the two different tracks there's a third track there which I'm not sure why I've selected it but um, there's a third track which I've elected not to use <clears throat> so anyway, so this particular track, it's the turn of Cool Ride. So I'm going to open that track up, and it's going to import it into the track that we're currently listening to. So there's Cool Ride just there. If I play the track, the environment, it's awfully loud. So I'm going to take this one down to start with, using the volume. I've worked out that it's approximately 25 25, 3, 4, 5, 24, and 25, there you go. So now we, we pull the, the level of the track back. The environment, outside the taxi and within. But also, um, also what I've done is uh, I've done something called auto duck, which by that I mean when I'm speaking, it drops the level of the music even further still. At the moment, it sounds like this. The environment. But after, yeah. The environment. But afterwards, the music will actually, where I'm speaking, the music will drop away completely during those times. Um, anyway, there is one thing I actually forgotten to do, which I, I need to do first, is I'm going to highlight this track, and I'm going to take out the gaps, truncate silence. That means. If you notice, the length of this track is currently 1 minute 57.36 seconds. That's me speaking for that amount of time. But I'm looking for areas in this audio where there's nothing happening at all that are too long. And I'm going to take them out. So I've highlighted it. It's currently 1 minute 57 seconds. Hopefully there won't be many gaps because I'm pretty good at keeping myself going when I'm talking when I'm recording myself. So I'm truncating the silence. Minimum silence duration is one second. Maximum silence duration is four milliseconds. So that's four seconds. And threshold for silence is 20 decibels. So that should take it right down to the core. So I'm going to take that out now. Watch. One minute 50 seconds should go down to... Yeah. One minute 54. So we've lost... Hello, Elsie. We've lost... Um, my daughter's next to me. You may or may not be able to hear her. Um, so we've took we've taken it down to one minute fifty four. We've lost 
one minute four eighty nine. Yeah, we lost about a couple of seconds of of uh, silence there, so that'll be nice to get rid of. And what I also need to do is make sure that my speech starts approximately five seconds after the track starts, because I need five seconds of audio, and then my voice will come in. Okay, so I'm going to cut it just there. I'm going to go up to about looking at the bottom of the screen there, five minutes sixty eight. Yeah, about there, and paste my voice in. Okay. Now I notice I've actually messed up there because if I go back to the start of here, there's a bit there where I'm actually not doing anything at all. I'm just going to get rid of that. Yep, so that's bang on five seconds now. So let's pull it in and see if you can hear what I've done so far. The environment. So you see, it gives a chance for the track, the music background to build, and um, and then the voice comes in. But I'm I'm going to now do auto duck, which means that the sound level on the music track will lower whenever I'm speaking. And what we do is we take this track, and we drag it to the top first, and we say we're going to work on this track, the music track. We're going to do effect auto duck, and it needs the track below it, physically just below it in order to know what it's actually meant to be duck, ducking it based upon. Okay, you'll see what I mean in a second. Just watch the volume levels on this music here. Yeah? So the music will be at full volume where it's silent on this track below. And then when my speech comes in, it will duck the audio. In other words, silence the audio or lower the volume of the audio while I'm speaking. So watch this now. Watch just there. Just here. That'll be loud. That'll be quiet. Just processing now. Nearly there. And finally it's going to go all the way to the end of the music track and discover that there's nothing to, to duck because I only, I only rattle on talking for about two minutes on this particular track. So yeah, we're nearly there. There you go. So now you've got loud music quiet music. If I drag along here, you'll see that where I actually stop to breathe or pause between speech, the music goes louder there. So I've a bit of a gap there, so it turns the music back up for just a second, and then fades it back down again when I, t when I talk, fades it back up again when I stop talking. See? I've got little gaps there. Audio duck. So I'll actually just play you, I'll play the track and see if you can hear what I'm talking about. So just Watch the audio there. Now I start to speak. The environment. Outside the taxi and within. See, so it's dropped the volume. Call there. me weird, but farting in my taxi, then claiming it to be a really good advert for the quality of the food at your dad's pub is frankly a bit odd. I won't be eating at the county hotel anytime soon anyway. Taxi. There you go. So that's uh, that's how I do it. So that's the track now processed. So that's now turned me rattling on to myself, recording myself reading an audio book at three in the morning, into something which is approaching a half decent um, audio book version of uh, of that same thing. So yeah, I'm Dave Price. Thank you for uh, listening. Oh, sorry. Before I before I sign off, I need to fade out the end of the music. So there you go, that's that's where the end of it is. So we take approximately, so we're on 1 minute 58, and we have approximately 5 seconds of audio, so that will take us to 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Two, sorry, 2 minutes and 3 seconds, that's it. 1, 2, 2 minutes and 3 seconds, it's a nice place there. So I'll now take that audio zoom out so we can see it all. Two minutes and three and highlight it all the way to the end. There you go, so that's all all the music all the audio to the end. Delete it and then go back to one minute fifty eight approximately. Highlight that to the end of there and effect fade out so that now fades out the end of the track so watch this drama at all
and I'm out.